Welcome everyone. In today's video, I will be covering how to find truck drivers for your new trucking business. Now you've decided that you want to start a trucking business or maybe you're looking for your first or second truck driver to put on your new trucks or you're thinking to buy trucks. With starting a new trucking business or taking your business or growing it comes new challenges, right? You're probably in the middle of buying equipment, insurance, legal paperwork, all of that. And then on top of that, you have to find a driver because guess what? If you don't have a driver, all of these things don't mean anything. Now, more than ever, driver shortage has been like the top one, number one issue for five years in a row throughout the trucking industry, according to American Trucking Association. There's nothing more important right now than having a driver and driver shortage has never been the worst than it is right now. What I wanna focus on is like, most trucking companies that you will look at that are successful, that are the big businesses, big trucking businesses that are established out there, they all started in the early 70s, in 60s, 70s. Okay, th that was the golden age of starting the business because a lot of drivers were available. Their truck drivers were in abundance. They would actually come to you for a job than what is going on today, okay? You could probably throw an ad in your local newspaper and guess what, you would have a lineup of truck drivers. I've had so many trucking companies even tell that to my face time and time again. Those were the golden age of finding drivers. So fast forward to now, trucking is still a great industry to be in. Don't get me wrong here, but the challenge is so big now. Why? Because Trucking, like the truck driving career itself, is not appealing to the majority anymore. It's looked at with a bad, it has a bad negative stigma around it because it's considered as a dead end job. You're gonna be away on the road, away from your family, on days on end, right? Like in basically in a truck. Now how the trucking companies are coping with this issue is, they start with posting on job boards to find their drivers. And guess what? All the trucking companies are doing the same thing. It's oversaturated. You have no distinction of who you are versus the others. And most trucking companies are offering hefty sign-on bonuses, crazy cents per mile. And especially when you're starting out, you can't compete with those numbers. It's just impossible, right? Like you're just starting the whole thing out. And good drivers already are employed. They're not looking for another job. So how do you think that you're gonna find a great driver that's gonna come in your truck, help you grow your business through a job board? Let me give you a personal story. So when I was looking for somebody on my marketing team for my business, I was posting on job boards, I was looking everywhere, and then I wasn't getting much result. I was getting into people that were not really qualified, didn't have experience, or they weren't doing the things that I was looking for. And I was like, I have to refigure this out. So I went on LinkedIn and I looked at all the people that were doing, all the companies that were doing things like my business, if they had some marketing teams and all that kind of stuff. And I looked at all the people that worked there and I personally messaged them and see who could be the right person that was willing to talk to me that I thought from outside would be an ideal candidate. That's how I ended up hiring some of my marketing people in the business. And we've gotten actually really good candidates from doing that thing versus staying on a job or on hoping that somebody qualified will come work for us. So here are the three things that you can do to build your rock solid recruitment strategy, okay? To find those drivers or that driver that you're after. Number one is identify with the driver that you're after, whether he or she needs one year experience, two years, three years. Are they team, are they solos? Are they gonna be owner operators? Are they gonna be company drivers? Whatever it may be, identify what, it's, what does that look like. Now the second thing is, do not start with the job boards as I said before, okay? They're oversaturated, there's no distinction. What you instead wanna do is find out where these drivers are hanging out, okay? What are the social media platforms or channels they're spending their time on? Where are they getting their news from? Where are they getting informed from? All that kind of stuff. And then the third thing is that work on crafting a great offer. What I mean by offer is like most trucking companies when they say what are you offering or what we have to offer, all they care or look at is CPM, cents per mile, right? Like everybody's racing for that CPM. What you need to think of is outside the box, what is else or what is more that I can offer as a small trucking business or a new trucking business for beyond the CPM to my driver, okay? Those are the three main key things you gotta keep in mind to find 
or recruit great drivers. If you put these three things in action, you'll be off to the races. So if you're serious about growing your trucking business and finding qualified drivers, I'm hosting a free webinar where you can go and learn how to find qualified drivers for your trucking business. Again, the webinar is completely free. I give away a lot of free tools and resources during the webinar so you can learn how to find drivers. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I do give away a lot of great tons of stuff on how to find qualified drivers for your trucking business and grow it. And I will see you in the next video.